Hi all, welcome back to my little kitchen. Uh, thank you very much for um, watching and tuning into my video. And I want to say a very big thank you to my new subscribers. You know who you are. Thank you very much for subscribing. So don't forget, like and subscribe, hit that notification button. Um, it'd be very much appreciated and it'll help me make some more videos for you. <laughs> so today we're going to use the Cassori Air Fryer to make some butterfly cakes. Just something simple. I just want to see how they are. So I'm just going to prepare everything, weigh out the ingredients. What we've got here now, we've got four small eggs. They weigh 203 grams. So therefore, the caster sugar is 203 grams, the flour is 203 grams, and the margarine is 203 grams. Now, the flour is self-raising, and that's gluten-free. It's optional. You can use gluten-free or not. Um, the margarine is the flora one, uh, the natural ingredients, the lighter one. So that's dairy free as well. Uh, you can use real butter or any other sort of margarine. It's up to yourself. It doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to use about a teaspoon and a half of baking powder and about two teaspoons of vanilla essence. So that is the ingredients at the moment that we've got here. Um, I'm going to put it all together now in my KitchenAid. Right, now I've um, got the eggs now. I'm going to put them in my KitchenAid, margarine, caster sugar. I've got my ingredients, the flora, margarine, the eggs, and the caster sugar in the KitchenAid mixer um, with two teaspoons of vanilla essence. So I'm going to leave that to mix. And then I'll be back with you when I've added the flour. Right, I've got everything in the mixer and it's all mixing nicely. So I'm going to leave that for a little while and I'll just chat you about these. These are the little plastic holders you put your cupcakes in or um, any sort of buns, um, Yorkshire puddings, um, the heat resistant. So you can pop them in your, uh, your Ninja, your air fry oven, um, whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do, because I want to make these special, I've actually popped paper in as well because I want it to hold, hold a nice shape. So this will keep the shape for me. And uh, But you could do it without paper, you don't have to put the paper in, but I want to be able to give them away as gifts as well. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that shape. I'll do, make a nice little gift out of it. Now, all is done. The mixture is in for the cupcakes. I'm um, going to switch on the air fry oven now. So we're going to preheat it first. So we want to um, bake and we want to preheat. So that'll take a few minutes now to preheat, about 10 minutes or so. Okay, it's just beaked. It's ready to put the food in because it tells you. So I'm just going to open it up. This is my first time cooking. Um, cupcakes in this oven so I hope they work out okay we'll see so I'm doing two uh, trays there now right so it's saying 175 for 25 minutes I'm going to keep an eye on that because normally when in me ninja it only takes me about 14 minutes on 160 so uh, <laughs> Yeah, you can see if they burn, they burn, you know, but we'll keep an eye on them. So hopefully that'll be okay. Right, I'll see you in 25 minutes. Well, I'm learning. I suppose I'm so used to the ninja. Yeah, I made a mistake. <clears throat> I put two shelves in of the cupcakes at 175 and I just went out for two well for about five minutes come back in thought I smell burning and um the top the top ones were burning so uh yeah yeah mm. so the bottom ones are okay so i presume i should have put them on 160 for two trays being in there. Oh well. <laughs> you gotta love 
all the trying, haven't you? <laughs> you really have. Uh, I'm keeping a close eye on these. Otherwise, there'd be, there'd be no goodies to eat. And they're rising now nicely, so I'm, I'm glad they didn't, you know, drop when they opened the, uh, the door. Um, they're starting to brown a bit. Now, it says it's got nine minutes left. Um, yeah, so when these are done, I think I'll put the others back in and just... I've got nothing to lose, really. I can always cut the top off. Oh, blow me now, fire. I don't know. Okay, uh, we're getting down to 10 seconds. So we're at six now. Um, they're looking better inside. I put the light on so I can see what they look like. And it's about to be eaten now, so it's finished. So hopefully these ones are okay. Right. Yeah, I just made a, a mistake by putting it on too high and doing two shelves. Um, they look okay. Right, I'm just going to close this up and I'm actually going to set it again um, but on 160 and put the others in um, and I'll just put it on for oh should have no minutes I'm going to put it on for maybe about eight right so I'm add food so it's still it's hot already which is great so I'm going to pop this in I'm just going to put it on the lower shelf and hope for the best and see if we can save them those are the four that survived so I'm going to let those cool down now on the on the tray and I'm just cooking um, the rest of the burnt ones we'll see how those are we mix the going again for the buttercream again it's um, dairy free uh, butter I'll show you Dairy free butter, you can use um, normal butter either. And the, uh, the burn air cakes, I just cut the tops off those. And they're absolutely, you know, they're really nice, really nice. Oh, oh, mm, nice. But I do, um, I get the Asta jam, just that it's cheap. I always um, put it in the microwave and melt it down. And then whatever beverage you've got, um, just add a tiny bit to it and just not even a capful, half a capful, just to give it a little bit of um, dark rum. I'm not particular, I don't like dark rum, but I thought I'd try it in cooking. I bought it just to see if I'd like it, but I didn't like it. <laughs> so I'm going to use it up in cooking. Yeah, that's, that's giving it a nice, uh, a nice kick. So I'm going to let that cool now. So I've actually cut out the holes in each of these buns. So I've got a nice deep hole. I'm going to pop the jam in there and then the cream, the butter cream on top. So I'm just going to wait for that jam to cool down. I've also got some sweeties. Now, these wouldn't be gluten free or dairy free, but if I'm giving a couple of these away as a gift, I'm going to have a few sweeties into it as well to make it a bit more luxurious. Right, I've popped the jam in and I've just popped the buttercream on top of each one. Um, I'm just going to cut the, the wings and then we're going to pop the chocolate on. So I'm just going to pop the wings on. Right, so a couple of them I'm going to Pop chocolates in. Oh, this smells gorgeous. I'll just pop another chocolate. Oh, I wish I could eat those chocolates. Absolutely smells gorgeous. I've also got gold flakes to do a finish off. So I've got my icing powder now. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, it just makes it look so magical, doesn't it? It really is a finish. I think for any sort of uh, sponge cake, 
gives it a lovely effect and a nice finish. I'm going to get a pinch of my gold flakes. Right there. Give you on top there. A bit of colour for spring. Right, I'm going to show you how I make them into gifts. I have, you can get these from any florist, um, you can buy rolls, and I say you probably could get it on the internet, on eBay or anything like that. Um, and it's what the florists use for the flowers. I'm only going to do the two, two cupcakes, I'm going to wrap two up, the ones with the chocolate. Florists make this look so easily, they just whiz it right down. Then I'm going to fold it in half, so I've got a nice square. I'm just going to trim this half. So now I've got two squares. I'm going to get one of these cupcakes, I'm going to put it in the middle. So for this, you're going to need a stapler to get two points and get your stapler and just feed it in between and then flatten it. Then turn it, get another point here, yeah. there we go, squeeze it, just gather a, a little uh, pleat in it, staple it, then turn it, bring up to this again, get another point, right, then twist it, so you've got a pleat, and then just staple it, so then you've got a shape that's holding, but then you want to do the finish and the finish is ribbon now if you've got crackers at christmas or anything like that always take the bits off and save any little bits of ribbon that might have been on the on the cracker because they always come in handy so i've got a box full but i found myself a, a gold piece now if you want to be very particular you can iron this um but i'm just doing this to show you how you can make it into a gift Pop it around where you've fastened the staples and just tie into a little knot. Now you can add to you can add to this again, you can put whatever you want on it basically. You could add um, a little bit of decoration um, to it either. Say like if it was a birthday or um, an Easter theme, um, you could add you could add to it or change the chocolate to the legs. Or even um, cut a bigger piece of plastic and pop a candle in for a birthday present. So then you'd have a little candle inside as well. So if you want to add more to this now, I can add a few little bits here. And then just fan out. Once you've got it all into place, this is just give you a quick idea. Once you've got it all into place, just fan out the top. And you've got your little gift present. So it's a nice little gift. Everybody loves cake. And if you've got a special friend or you've got someone you know that would like a little gift, that is a lovely gift. A nice cup of coffee and a nice cake. Mm, I'm going to give this to Vincent. <laughs> So I'm quite happy with those, they've come out absolutely beautiful um, like I said you can put little decorative pieces on them, just make it your own and a nice special gift and the cost would be very minimal, probably 50 cent. When you think the flower, I've not used all the flower, the flower is only about um, a euro or less than a euro, I think it's, I think it's got lots about a euro and ten, I'm not 100% sure, it used to be 67 cent. Uh, well, 67 pence out of Asta, and then you've got your margarine. So don't forget, you've got you're only using a small amount of each, so it's cost next to nothing. Don't forget, leave me a comment to let me know you subscribed. <sighs> the apron's off. I'm going to sit down with my nice cappuccino with Vincent, and we're going to enjoy these delicious cakes. There we go, Vincent. That's that's Vincent's delicious cake. It's like my birthday. And it was mine yesterday, and it's Vincent's birthday this Saturday, so I'll be doing, I'll be making some more cakes now. I'm going to do a big cake, I think, in the uh, air fryer oven. I'll show you how that one works out. 
I've not told Vincent what happened with the rest, but you can watch the video on Sunday. See you Sunday. Bye. Bye.